Hello everybody, my name is Benji, and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where I am making a fourth episode for this update with a couple of tips and tricks, as well as just a little bit of extra exploration. So, you'll see we're down here in the Mushroom River, which I showcased two episodes ago, the entrance into this biome, and of course, as soon as I start recording... I see none. So there are 15 different types of butterfly larvae in this game. I've been looking at the subreddit and I've been exploring around and all the things. Um, and they said on the subreddit that there are a very specific glowy pink, there's one, larva that spawns only down here. It's the butterfly Furtua larva and it's an eight hundred, you heard that correct, 800% multiplier to the insect multiplier. So, I'm trying to find a whole bunch of these guys so that we can replace all of our butterflies that we currently have in the base with those butterflies. And I'm also picking up the uncommon uh, larvas as I see them. There's another one. Essentially, you can just manipulate the spawns by kind of walking around in circles in order to see, in order to just get them to spawn over and over again. And they glow bright fluorescent pink, so they're very, very easy to see. And I'm not running around, I'm just walking around, I'm not jetpacking around, I'm literally just holding W and looking around for larvas. And I am taking the uncommon ones because that's how we get bees. And there's one other thing that I want to show you guys relating to the butterfly larva and just larva in general. Which I can showcase as soon as we get back up to the surface. I think I'm going to grab like 10 of these guys. I'm already at 6, so I only need 4 more. Um, maybe I'll go for 12 and that way we're halfway there already, uh, so that I can replace the two that are in the big old butterfly greenhouse thing that we made, and also I can replace the ten that are in our little uh, 4x4 grid, and replace at least two-thirds of the grid with them. And that should actually slam up our... Um, numbers enough in addition to the fact that I'm planning on sending a couple more rockets just to get the plants and the oxygen multipliers up to 15 rockets each um, and that should slam the numbers up enough to get to fish and I don't actually know for sure I don't think fish were added in this update actually I do know for sure I was just looking at the patch notes uh, I didn't say anything about fish but we're going to get to that milestone just because I feel like I can, and I feel like I kind of want to. Um, I don't really know why, because I know that it's just like getting the insects before, where it's completely and entirely pointless. But, like, it just seems fun. Hey, there's another one, seven. So I'm just going to get 12 of these guys, and then I'll show you the other cool larva trick that I learned thanks to the Planet Crafter Reddit. Eight. I'll be back soon. You guys were probably yelling at me in the comments, but I recorded this, like, every single episode basically in the same day. One of, one of these was one of the Futura larvas. I just can't, I, I just can't read. My eyes are bad, and this font is even worse for me. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It's fine. But now I get to show you guys the cool tricks. So you see this thing? The recycler where you can put like a uranium rod in and get nine uranium out. Well, you can put any of these things and it, it, it works. It just, it works. So now I have three more tries because I got one of the ones that I wanted, which is the 500 multiplier. And then the other three, I can just, you know, put the things back in and just try again. And I think that's really, really funny and definitely should not be possible. 
I think the devs are probably going to patch that, if I had to guess. Because you should not be able to put organic creatures into a machine that separates them back into their composite parts. Like, they've been mutated. That's that's the end, that's end of story. And end of story, right? Right. This is also a Futura. And the rest of these are all 600 because they're the, the, the big ones. How about you guys? You guys are also 600 because you're all the near larvas, right? No. You're also a 600, though, because you were found out in the wild. I think all the ones that you can find out in the wild are 600. It's just the rest of them, like the ones that you can craft by hand, are less than 600. So let's go on ahead and replace everyone in this pod with the Futuras and then maybe I can try putting one of the ones that I have in my inventory that are the 600s that we found out in the wild uh, maybe we can try putting those into the um, into the recycling machine as well I think that would be pretty funny if it actually results in anything. But at this point, I have so many of these guys that are like 600 and above. I don't really need to do the rare larvas anymore upstairs like I was doing. I can just do the uncommon larvas instead. That way... I can try, yeah, because that's garbage, that's garbage, that's garbage, and there wasn't even anything in that one, so, yeah, th those, those are all, those are all garbage, and then let's grab, let's grab one of these and try sending it through, because I know for a fact that, like, that one's gonna work, that one's gonna work. And that one's gonna work because they were all the crafted ones that I just did. And then how about you? It does work. I didn't think it would work. So that was one of the ones that we found out in the wild. And it did in fact give me back a rare larva. That was one of these. Wow. That's pretty crazy. So I can get fertilizer and rare larvae out of them. Since I'm going to be prioritizing the 800% ones instead. Because obviously, why would I not? But I guess for these, we just prioritize bees. Bees. Because we already have a silk generator, I don't need more silkworms, and I didn't really know what I was going to do with the rest of the silkworms anyway. Well, now I know, thanks to Reddit. Gotta love Reddit sometimes, man. You really do. I know it's probably slightly cringe, but you definitely have to like Reddit for, for shit like this. Like, that is going to save me so much time overall literally so much time i just need to go down and find more things like that that's literally all there is to it i just need to go find more of the uh futuras and we're at 54.53 i'm gonna do some math and find out like how much like what what percentage we go up at what rate and find out how long it's going to take for this to actually do uh and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't i might also work on these as well at another point in time so i'm gonna go find more of those big pink fluffy butterflies and i will be back calculations have been done it'll take a little over eight and a half hours at this current rate to get us to fish 
which means we definitely need more rockets and we definitely need more of these wonderful pink butterfly larvae. Um, however, I'm just about out of time to record at this point in time. So I'm gonna come back down here and find the habitat. Did I put away the materials that I had for the habitat? I thought I just left it here. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll just gather the materials again. and It doesn't take that long. The longest thing is just finding the, the iron. And I can look for larva as I do it. But essentially, literally all that I was doing was walking around spinning in circles, finding larva, and that's all I'm gonna continue to do, is just walk around in circles, trying to find glowing pink larva. See, they're already spawning. No glowy pink ones, but the regular ones are spawning. See, like, that one wasn't there, and then I turned around, and it was there. So, that's literally all that we have to keep doing, is just this. Over and over and over again, forever and ever and ever. Food level critical. <laughs> Shit. So I'm gonna have to go back home anyway to deal with that. But that's fine. So that is gonna be it for past Benji. However, that is not the end of the episode. You guys will have more in the episode. Uh, I'll just take it back in once I have something next time to actually report on. So, see you in a second. Welcome back. For you guys, it's literally been, like, I don't know, a couple of seconds, but for me, it's been a couple of days. And I've expanded the butterfly farm significantly over the course of the last however long I've been working on it for. I've gotten a lot of the wonderful pink bioluminescent butterflies from down in the mushroom forest. Not all of them are mushroom forested, however, because they're very, very rare. So instead, we've got a couple of the basic, like, Lorpin and the Fioranet and that kind of stuff down in the pits. Uh, but overall, we are almost at the 5 TTI, which means we are almost at conclusion for the update. Technically, we are already at the conclusion for the update. I just didn't want to stop playing yet. I wanted to see the maximum that I could do, get to the next milestone. That way, just like this time, we unlock everything in a flurry and can go through it all at our own pace with no in-between waiting required which has just been fantastic. Uh, one other thing to update on is these outdoor farms are amazing, and I am going to be, before the end of the video, I'm going to be upgrading from all of the farms that we have upstairs. All nine of these guys are going to be taken out and transformed into the farm tier twos, which I'm just going to have a huge platform extending in this direction with all of my iron, having two different farms on either side, so like one for mushroom, one for mushroom, one for squash, one for squash, one for beans, one for beans, one for um, eggplant, one for eggplant. Also, trying out a new microphone system on this one. I'm going to be getting some feedback during stream and during some recordings that are going to come out before this one. But this is the first video that I'm recording with the change. So if you guys like the change to the microphone settings, please do let me know in the comments and feel free to reach out to my... I have him labeled as a co-owner, but really he's just a super moderator. Uh, ruins because he's the one that told me my mic had a little bit of static in it. I didn't even realize that wasn't normal uh, and he told me how to fix it. So if I stop talking you'll notice that there's no static in the background. It's just completely silent as if I had muted and honestly I think that's a pretty cool quality of life thing. Uh, one more thing to update you guys on before I go and try to start upgrading my farms is we have all 15 butterfly types here organized by percentage. 
So in the top left, we have the Futura, which is 800%, followed by the Alden, which is 700%. This is found in the Wastelands biome. The Wastelands biome, let me just show you, is this biome over here, the one that has the abandoned Zerpin, um base in it. That's the Wasteland. I could only find one. I was going to try to find three. That way I could put one in here and two in the butterfly pen upstairs. Then we have the Lorpin, which can just be found anywhere. The Nier, which can just be found anywhere. The Fiorinette, which can be found anywhere. I know I'm saying that wrong. The Leux, which is made with the rare larva upstairs. The Amel, same thing. The Chevron, which I believe is the same thing. The Penga, which is common larva, the Fensei, which is Carmen, the Lieni, which is common, the Abstraeus, which is common, the Galaxy, which I really enjoy, which is common, the Empalio, and the Azure, which are all common larvas. Uh, in all honesty, my favorites in terms of design, obviously, are the Futura. The Futura is fantastic. Uh, I really, really like this one in the center as well, because it reminds me of a monarch butterfly, except green instead, the chevron. Uh, and then the rainbow one up here, the near, are also very cool. And then also the furinet, which I know, again, I'm saying wrong, but it's fine. So that is all 15 butterflies. Those are all the ones that can be found. I did find another statue. It was... Uh, I can't see it from here. It was up in a golden chest on that ridge right up there that my cursor is currently pointing at. There's no ping system in this game, uh, so I just kind of have to point, look, and tell. But I'm going to go on ahead. We're going to wait for the 5 TTI to hit, and I'm going to start working on my farms, which I'm going to need to transfer um, the fertilizer into... Well, actually, I'm just going to make more fertilizer tier 2. Yeah, that's really all there is to it. But, oh well, we're almost there, and we're almost done with Planet Crafter again for now. We got another meteor. Boy, I repeat, we got another meteor. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at all the pulsar quartz. Oh my gosh, that's seven pulsar quartz right there, and there's more. There's more, I just can't get to it because of the boulder. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm currently in the process of still expanding my farms. There have been a lot of meteor storms as of late. Not entirely sure why. What did I do with the water? I had water. I had water for the new farms. But the main issue is that I am currently out of, uh, what's the word? Currently out of bee larva, because I had forgotten that these require bee larva to actually operate and maintain. So I'm currently in the process of trying to harvest more bee larva in order to actually have the farm fully functioning here. But at this point, I'm just going to leave the recording going because we are at 4.98 on the Terraformation Index, which means we are very, very, very close to being able to see fish. And by see fish, I literally mean, like, see the notification pop up on my HUD. We can't actually see any fish. <laughs> Because they're not in the game yet, but that's fine. That is all okay. have enough. I need one more mutagen in order to do a full round. And I'm pretty sure it's sulfur and two nitrogen? Or methane, rather? No. Just one sulfur, one methane. Got it. And then we can head upstairs. This is essentially the gameplay loop right now. Like the gameplay loop for our tree farms 
was very different from this. It was a lot of, all right, go grab algae, then grab my uh, eggplants, then grab my water, then grab my mutagen, then put it in the DNA replicator, and yada, 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 so on, so on, so forth, until eventually we got there. And that was an absolute pain in my butt. But with this, this is a lot better. This is a lot better of a gameplay loop, in my personal opinion. I do wonder what this looks like when it's not all the way terraformed. Like, I want to see what it looks like in-game when it's still dry. That's something we'll have to check out another time, though. Still there on the boulder front. And we're literally just waiting for eggplants to grow right now. 4.99. We're almost there. I guess I can go get some more sulfur and I can show you guys the teleportation network. So 579 takes me to the uranium mine. 923 takes me to the super alloy mine. 902 takes me to the Iridium mine, and 391 takes me to the Cobalt mine. The Zeolite mine is that way, the Iridium mine is actually right in this cave right here, and our Sulfur mine is right here, because I did need some more Sulfur. And then we can just head straight back to the teleporter. Nothing fancy, just a teleporter on the ground. And then we pop back in and deposit any resources we may have gotten in our voyage. Which it looks like everything else is full inventory and our trash bin is full. So, goodbye. Say goodbye to your trash forever. And there's the sulfur for all of the... That's all the fertilizer that I need to actually make the farms. I still need four more bees to make the rest of the farms. Other than the four that are currently incubating upstairs, which I actually check on. There's one bee, one silkworm, two bees, and three bees. Not bad. Only one silkworm out of a round of four. That's better RNG than I've been getting. And then that glitch, or I think it might be intended. It might be unintentionally intended, if that makes any sense. I feel like that does. Does that make sense? Maybe it doesn't make sense. And then grab everything that we need. With bees. Come on out here. And then place the last one down. And it looks like we are... Hey, we're at five! Give. What? 99.91%. 99.92, but we're at five. Is it rounding up? Are we at 4.992 or something? 993, I guess? I guess that must be what it's doing. Is it's rounding up. Nope, rocks are still there. Yeah, it's got to be rounding up. Intriguing. We are 0.04% away. I know for a fact that's all the materials I'm going to need for this. Because we just come out. Ah, oh, wait a second. I miscalculated. I need five silica. Maybe we can grab it from over here. Boop and boop. Perfection. Because we need the fences here on the sides as well. Eggplants are still in the process of growing, so that's fine. And then in that last one, we can go on ahead and plant our beans. I should have done this a long time ago, but 
Oh well. Yeah, 68 and 66%. So still waiting. Fish? Fish! We did it! Amphibians is next and 0.00% because fish is not supposed to be attainable uh, currently. It's supposed to be the one that's like forever away and then amphibians is the next stage after. So obviously it's also going to be forever away. But I'm going to finish up the farm and then we will go on ahead and end for today. So back in a jiffy. And just like that, another stint of Planet Crafter comes to an end. And by another stint, I guess I really only mean a small stint, because we had the original series, which got us up until uh, the insect stage. And then there was the Caves and Crater update, which added the new area above the Sand Pit Falls uh, with that wreck. It added the Pulsar Quartz Cave, the Zeolite Cave, and the Crater. And now we had the Insects and Waterfall update, or Insect and Mushroom River, or something like that. I, I forget entirely what it is. I'm just calling it the Insects update, because that's the main thing. Three new biomes, one in a cave, one that we made our base at, and one that's basically a giant meteor field with Zeolite Osmium and some Pulsar Quartz dotted around it. Uh, and then this, which is the most beautiful biome that I have ever seen. I definitely think next time that I start over with a new game, which I doubt will be the next time that we play, but will probably be closer to 1.0 unless they overhaul the early game in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm going to start in the crater start zone, and I'm just going to make my way here and then start here properly. Uh, the only issue that I may have with that at all is going to be Iridium. Iridium would be a bit of a problem uh, in the early game. But overall, uh, unless there's going to be some sort of ice blocking my path uh, going into the biome over there, then we won't have any issue with aluminum, although I, I bet there's gonna be because there's late game zeolite, osmium, all the good stuff over there. So I doubt we'll be able to have early game access. But I definitely wanna make this my starting zone for the next time that we end up playing. But for now, that is gonna be it for Planet Crafter. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, but without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir. Hasta la vista, das vidania, vidazien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves all a fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video and this series for now are in the bag. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.